the S we would have to represent how we would have. So, uh, uh, it's three of the company. Uh, so, our product is originally from Kuala Selangor, which is the rural area in Kuala Selangor. Have you, have you guys ever been to Kuala Selangor? Yes. yes. No? Yeah. <laughs> so, it's a hard to very hard. So, uh, uh, at Kuala Selangor, uh, KS, uh, Miudang is quite a famous dish there. And it's very good. I know. I've been there. <laughs> okay. So we brought our company from uh, local entrepreneurs, Pabu and his family. Pabu. Okay. Okay, objective of objective of our company is to rekindle the passion of traditional food, as you guys know that nowadays. Uh, our generation, the young ones, uh, are not aware of this dish. They like tacos, like the Western food, like that, you know? They more like that. Uh, second is to help the local entrepreneur. And to make it, uh, next is to make it easier for the people that are looking for this dish. Like, uh, Polisano is actually a uh, very far, it's, the, uh, it's a very quite a far distance from the city. So our objective is to bring the Kulisano <laughs> Mio Dang to So for our director, myself, me, the resident music, is the managing director. Uh, so uh, managing director, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Then uh, uh, my partner, Muhammad Shah Ben Yahi, is the marketing director. He will be in charge of the, you know, how to advertise the product, the promotion, the sales, and um, my another partner, uh, Mumbai Danish, is responsible for financial, for finance. Uh, so he will be primarily responsible for an organization's financial resources, and his specialized areas is accounting and investment. Uh, and my last part is Mama Uzebe, he will be in charge of the operating oper operation managers. So. partnership we share among uh, our, we, among us. Among our us. <laughs> then one important point that you forgot to mention is that the founding father the founding fathers of KS New Down are actually chefs. We cook and we find resources in order to cook. Yeah we are chefs, we cook. <laughs> Before I proceed with uh, uh, introducing the menus, why don't you have a look to our menus? We did, we already did. We have Kikai, Kikos, Bandung, and of course, Prince. Um, to some of you, to some of you, you, you may ask why are there so limited choices in our menu, but that is actually our strength. Later you will find it in SWOT analysis. So the first is me carry it down. Uh, the ingredients are actually generally spicy, spicy, and you can see the you see the one there. Yeah, I can see. It's all good, right? Now me go to down. It's not that spicy, so it's suitable for for kids or maybe kindergartens. Those who are still in school, primary school, they don't like spicy foods like me. I'll go for me to go. So finally, we have me bandung udang. The spice is still there, but it, it differs in maybe the taste. And also we have the drinks. Drinks of choice. Alright, now let's talk about the location. Right, you see, uh, the first picture, that is the, the location that we pick at Platinum Walk, Stapak. So, our stall or our restaurant is there, and this is the map where you can see it is actually at the center of um, where most of the people living in. 
there's there's uh, there's the army camp, there's workplace, workplaces, there's college. So during their lunch break or during their um, once they finish their job, they work. Of course, they want to find something to eat, something really um, promising to eat. So why not they come to a center that that we have been living here for quite some time, of few dishes that are quite reasonable in terms of price. Um, also, you can see there are no specific place for them to solat, and we have no solat. <laughs> for, those, for those people who are in urge to solat, and also to go to the toilets after they finish the business, they can come to a business, maybe our food are too spicy, they need to go to the toilet. Oh, maybe, maybe they need to go to the Mosul, Mosulah after having lunch. So we provide the best facilities for this for the people uh, to, to have. Moving on, the product. I will talk about the product. Uh, generally, of course, uh, KS Midang, we provide food services. We don't do massage, we don't do training service, no nail polishing, mainly food services. And our resource, this is the most important point, where our resources are freshly caught, by the founding fathers, and our noodles are handmade through the specific style of. Uh, we bought the flour and then we make it like we tari, we tari, we tari there in the store. So the uh, the customers they can see how we uh, we manage the product. So there is quality control to ensure that uh, the quality is there. The customers don't have doubt whether the cleanliness, everything can be settled through the we tari. The way that we promote this, uh, the first is by using banners. Banners are put along the roadside. So if you are aware about the map just now, we have so many junctions and so many roads. So our banners are, are occupied there, fully placed, all of the corners. And we do have flyers. We give it hand to hand at the counter, cashier. Okay, after they have finished it, uh, eating the, the meal down. And then the, about the price, the price is reasonable. It's because uh, I say it's reasonable because we uh, we have uh, set just like McDonald's. If you buy set, you have a uh, fixed price. If you want to buy separately, the price are separately separately uh, divided. So the first we have mie curry, mie udang, mie rebus, and mie bandung. And if you uh, buy it set, the price is five ringgit for one set. So the price is just if you buy different drinks. <coughs> that is for the product. This is the how the oh. mitari, like how we build tari. <laughs> so the, the concept of mitari is ori originally from the still from the Chinese, but we try our heart to strive for this Islamic mi tari mi udang. The main ingredient is flour. The rest is our specialty of uh, organizing the mi tari. That is why we save our cost by not having a specific machine that processes the meat. Who is that? 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 Moving on to the SWOT analysis, the first is the strength. Now, I mentioned that the menus are quite limited because we are chefs, of, we all of all are chefs. And when we get the orders, it is not that to the, uh, the range is not that big, either you have. You either have the curry, the rebus, or the bandung. So once the order is received to us, we can quickly make the dish. And also, because of those limited uh, menus, we can actually have, uh, we can be an expert of preparing it. Maybe in terms of time, we can reduce the time in order to prepare a dish. Also the quality, in terms of taste, in terms of uh, how you decorate. Okay, that is main power efficiency. And the good policy of our meal dance is that we ensure that all the prawns, all the, uh, what do you call it, the meat, are fresh. Are fresh. That's why one of the policies I mentioned is we 
get our own prawns. We don't buy it in the market, we get it from the sea. Specifically for the Lamont. Right, job opportunities. You see just now at the map there is a army camp. And also a few college, one college, and a few other stalls. So we are trying to compete to get uh, the best, uh, the best, uh, what do you call that? Uh, yes, uh, to get the best, uh, what do you call, how to give the best satisfaction to the customers. So in, uh, either than attracting uh, the customers, we also want to attract people to work with us. So we also provide job opportunities after we finish. So for the weakness, uh, weaknesses, uh, one of it is, our working hours is very long period. Uh, we start open our <coughs> restaurant uh, like yeah, in the afternoon until uh, early in the morning, like 3 a.m. Like so uh, another point is uh, we are late on menus because as you can see just now, uh, we only serve me. me, me, me. <laughs> Opportunities for this company. A lot of tourist attractions, a lot of people come in from all over the place to go to Kolostan and just for a meal. And the second one is it can be popular nationally. Uh, as of right now, they don't really have a lot of attraction to everywhere else except for Kolostan, so this could really, really help them. And the third one is yeah, the local food needs to be recognized by the society. Trying to bring this to a much, much larger um, sales. Yes, okay. <coughs> yeah, uh, my name is Mohamed Ishad. Uh, okay, I'll be talking about the threats of our company. As we all know, threats are something that we can't control, like it's out of the company's power to fix it. So, first of all, is the environmental factors. Uh, as we, we just told us now, we catch our own prawns and just so. Uh, if somehow the sea is polluted and it sort of affects the freshness or the quality of the fraud that we catch, that can be a real problem to our company. Next is the competition. Uh, as you guys know, like we only in our menu we only serve meat, so there's not much variety in our menu. So uh, competitors can sort of have the upper hand in that kind of term. So uh, with other companies with more wider selection of food, they are more likely to have you know, more customers. <coughs> uh, next is the lack of interest from the young locals. Uh, as you guys know that our product is uh, derived from the old local foods. Like, uh, then the young locals, they are not really into that scene. That we more into the Western food, like arrow macaroons, more, more. I mean, British prettier food and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> like this is this kind of food is really like traditional. yeah traditional and cool. It's really not really gross, but you is is if you don't this it's like eating, but you don't look quite nice. No. It's not really that nice. Messy. Uh, uh. Yeah, very messy and for the green yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, finally, is the distance to get the resources of our product, which is basically the prawns. We have we have to literally go to the sea and catch the prawns ourselves and one more the <laughs> <laughs> and we have to yeah that's one of our best. Uh, then we see our target market. Uh, first of all, um, families. Yeah, yeah. Um, basically, New Dam is our our food is uh, quite large the serving, and they, we encourage uh, more for more family like a lot of people to eat because it's it's simple. There's only three dishes in our menu, and sort of the whole family can order. Uh, our sets and it's quite a large 
large survey. Next would be the young locals, which part of our objective is to rekindle the love for that traditional food and hopefully more uh, more of youngsters in the area that we provide our product are, are more interested in our food. And finally would be tourists, obviously. Uh, seeing as though they are most interested in trying the traditional food of the area, so that would be our main, I think, largest target of our product. Hi, uh, Dennis, financial director. Uh, with the financial plan, we started off with 20,000 uh, ringgit worth of loan from the bank to be paid over um, two quarters of never if we don't make any profit. And uh, as you can see, that we almost uh, just repaid the loan. We made 13,000 uh, ringgit within the first quarter. And uh, some of our expenses. Um, amongst the first quarter, we 